I trust that you are well. Mr. Leon Kauma here, the best maths tutor that you know. So this video, I'm going to teach you on how to solve quadratic equations. Yeah, Quadratic equations, how to solve them. Focus is paper one. The focus is paper one. So come with me. So quadratic equations, how to solve them. A quadratic equation in x is an equation which contains x to the power 2, so x squared, but no higher power. So there's no higher power. If it has a higher power, it's not a quadratic equation. So examples, we have x squared plus 2x minus 3. What makes this a quadratic equation is because of the x squared. We have 3x squared is equal to 2. What makes this a quadratic equation? Because of the 2. Then we have x is equal to 3x squared plus 1. What makes this a quadratic equation? It's because of the square. So, the above are all quadratic equations. The above are all quadratic equations. So, the general formula of the quadratic equation in x is this. I'm sure you have seen this before. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to 0. A must not be equal to zero. In general, a quadratic equation, a quadratic is satisfied by two values, always two values. So I have a couple of examples here. <clears throat> Solve the following. So we have x, then x minus 4 is equal to zero. How do you solve this? Most people will start by breaking. You don't do that. Once they have equated an equation to zero, this is what you do. You just say x is equal to zero. You get this x and that's zero. Or x minus four is equal to zero. X minus four, it can't. Yeah, because they are like terms. So x is equal to, we take our four across the equal sign. So we have zero plus four because it's a negative. So once it, once it crosses the equal sign or goes the other side, for simple explanation, it becomes a positive. So x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. If it was a plus, it could have been negative, yeah? All right. We go to our second example. So x minus 2, then x plus 3. Then in brackets, and have equated to 0. So it's simple. Let's say x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x minus 2 it can't because they are like terms. So we have x is negative process goes the other side becomes 2 or x is equal to negative 3. Simple, 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 simple. We have c. x squared minus 7x is equal to 0. What we do here, we factorize. To factorize means we find what's common. So what's common here is x. So what's common we put outside or outside the brackets. x, x into x squared is x minus x into 7x is 7. x equals to 0. There's a, we cancel this x. So we have 7. This takes us back to our first example. So we just have x is equals to 0. x minus 7 is equals to 0. So x is equals to 7. Remember it's a negative because the other side becomes a positive. Yeah, hope you are getting something. We have this x squared is equal to 2x. So what we do here, this 2x must go the other side. So we have x squared is positive. Once it goes the other side, minus 2x is equal to. What remains this side? It's 0 because there's nothing. But you can't put at nothing. It's 0. So here what's common? It's x. Yeah? So x minus, here we have 2. It's equal to 0. So x is equal to 0. Or x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 2. Yeah? Let's go to further examples now. So now we are looking at our example E. So we have 4x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now this example has no has no common factor. The only thing that is common is that both numbers have roots. Yeah? So the root of 9 is 3. The root of 4 is 2. So we said 2x, the root of x squared is x minus root of 9 is 3. 
you open another bracket with the same numbers, but you just put a positive here. Plus 3 is equals to 0. So what we do, we say 2x minus 3 is equals to 0, or 2x plus 3 is equals to 0. So you have 2x is equals to, this is negative 3, because the other side becomes positive. So over 2, over 2. So cancels. x is equals to 3 over 2. Done. Simple as that. We have this. We have 2x is equals to, it's positive goes the other side, minus 3. So over 2, over 2. So x is equals to negative 3 over 2. Done. So it's about finding roots. This, if you go to factorization, the topic is known as factorization, difference of two squares. Yeah? Let's look at this. I'm sure with you have looked, you have found such equation in an exam pass paper. Yeah? So this is how you solve this. Maths is easy. So this is a squared. How do you move a squared? The square root, both sides. So this will cancel that. So you have x minus 3 is equals to square root of 16 is positive or negative 4. Yeah? Because it's a root, so it's positive or negative. So we have x minus 3 is equals to positive 4, or x minus 3 is equals to negative 4. So x is equals to 4, it's goes this side, plus 3, or x is equals to negative 4, it's goes this side, plus 3. So x is equals to 7, yeah? And we have or x is equals to negative 1. Yeah, so that is it about, uh, about quadratic equations. I hope you have gotten one one or two things. Yeah. If you are interested in joining our online classes, we have begun registering. Yeah. So make sure general had over 100 people join us. I'm looking forward to teaching you this month. Yeah. Text us your line. We'll get in touch with you. Stay blessed.